Let me start with congratulations on your movie. Thanks very much. Appreciate that. Listen, George and Julia are, they're movie stars. They're selective with what they do. What is it like actually getting the phone call or the Zoom meeting or whatever it may be when they actually say, yeah, we're going to do this? It was extraordinary. And in this case, it was particularly high stakes because I wrote it for them. It was conceived for them and written for them. And then I sent it to both of them at the same time, which you never do, because then if one of them passes, the other one will get insecure and pass as well. Do you know what I mean? And so um, but I sent it to both of them going, this only works if it's the pair of you and I'm not going to make the movie otherwise. And so it was really high stakes even higher than normal and then um but in a way that's a kind of nice get out for me because obviously they're going to pass and then i could go oh well shame i don't have to make the movie i can just imagine it in my head and that'll be great so it was terrifying to get the call that it was um yeah subject to a, another call it was on um terrifying did you have you've done obviously other projects i have did you find that this was the one that more friends and family were begging you to visit you on set? Yeah, except that it was in Australia. And so with the with the two week um, quarantine, so no one could come. And so, um, yes, everybody wanted to come and everyone, lots of press and our friends I know who worked for journalists wanted to come, but um, nobody could. And so, um, yeah, we were just in a tunnel. We vanished. I vanished for six months. So it left home. Like everyone, I love the beer pong scene and them dancing. I know everyone talks about it, but I'm curious, what is it like directing that scene where you're directing those two trying to, the beer pong and the, like, what is it it's like? It's amazing. It was the best night, the best working night I've had. And I did Mamma Mia, like I did, you know, I put Cher in a helicopter and this was even more fun than that. It was, um, it was amazing. And you kind of, I mean, I had, a, I had a mic, a radio control thing to talk to all the different cameramen because you're trying to, you know, you don't have long, you know, obviously they've got energy, but you don't have that long to try and capture it. So, but I think it wasn't attached to anything. I think like Sid Vicious's bass, so they just used to unplug it. So he would just play whatever rubbish and, you know, then take her in and no one would ever know how bad he was. And I think, uh, I think I was shouting, go left, pan left, focus on Julia. And no one did anything that I said. So it was great for me. I just panicked and shouted. Uh, I'm always curious about the editing because yeah. that's where it all comes together. Sure. So how did this film possibly change in the editing room in ways you did not expect? To be honest, very little. It was very, it came out okay. It just it came out quite smooth. It got a little shorter. You lose things that don't work. And also you realize how good they are. So you realize you've overwritten. Do you know what I mean? You realize that you've given them lines to explain something that they're so good at just showing you that you don't need the line of explanation. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, it, it tightened, but it didn't, it didn't radically... I think we were ready for it to change, but it, yeah, it was okay. It worked out all right. What, I mean, you've obviously directed many people, very famous actors, yeah. but what is it like, what kind of direction on set do you like to give an actor when you need something different? Are you like a few words? Are you having full on conversations? Like different actors. You try and vary it. You know, there are very needy actors that need you to intervene and be quite stern or be whatever. And there are actors that you just, you know, George, I would go that to, that was my main note to him. Every now and then I just do that. And he got too big and I, just, you know, and then he, you know, so, um, uh, but then, you know, just different actors, it varies. But I mean, in general with these guys, they so know what they're doing that I would just, I'm just there to laugh and appreciate and go, maybe try this one and they'll try it and it's better the way they did it the first time. Uh, I, I am definitely curious if you put it in your contract that um, you would get a piece of the residuals of all the people going to Bali after seeing this you know movie. What? No, I don't. And I don't, I mean, I just, well, I didn't even go to Bali myself. I mean, it's shot in Australia. I thought, you know, because obviously you assume a movie's not going to happen. So I thought at least I'd get two research trips out of it to Bali. But I still haven't been, so... um uh, extraordinarily, because of the pandemic, we weren't able to go. We had a crew shooting there, so they were shooting backdrops and we were CGIing them in. But um, yeah, no, listen, if people go great, amazing. Bali's had a really tough time, so if we can help in any way, it, re, you know, regather and research, then that would be brilliant. Uh, my last question for you. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, it's, it's totally cool. No, if you, nice to talk to you, Steve. Um, if you had, uh, and people want to make movies with you, so this might not apply, but if you could get the financing to make anything you want, what would you make and why? God, that's terrifying. Um, my next film. It's always the next one. It's always another thing. I've written a movie that I think is going to happen uh, next spring, but it, I'd like the money's not totally certain. Obviously, you always want more money because you want more time. It's not like I, it's not my money, but you have that gives you more time and more space and more room to create. So um, I'd like the money to come together for that one, please. That would be nice. I think it'll happen. Thank I'm you. Putting good, positive things. I appreciate that. On that note, congrats on the movie. Thank I know you very it's going to be a hit. Thank you. I appreciate it. Sure.